The Tradescantia pallida, commonly known as the Wandering Jew or the Inch Plant, is an herbaceous perennial plant of the Comelinaceae family. It occurs as an invasive weed in many natural areas around the world, but most particularly in New Zealand. It has purple-red oval leaves with pointed tips, characterized as lustrous and fleshy. The leaves are arranged alternately on the shoots, which arise from leafless stems that root from the nodes. Pink or white flowers are produced at the tip of the leafy shoots and are arranged into clusters. Its full length may vary between 30 to 150 centimeters. Since it is not capable of self-fertilization, Tradescantia pallida has developed the ability to propagate really easily from stem fragments. Therefore, people usually propagate Tradescantia pallida plants using stem cuttings. The cutting length must be at least greater than 1 cm and must include at least one node. Otherwise, the plant won't be able to root itself into the soil. The objectives of the project are to evaluate the effect of rooting hormone on root formation, evaluate the effect of different rooting mediums on root formation, and evaluate the interaction between rooting hormone and rooting medium. The experiment. For this project, a total of four treatments were performed. All the treatments were carried out on 10 cuttings. In treatment number one, no rooting hormone was applied and the cuttings were planted into a soil-based potting mix. In treatment number two, stem root number one was applied as a rooting hormone and the rooting medium remained the same as for treatment number one. Then, in treatments three and four, the soil-based potting mix was replaced by the hydroponic unit. Rooting hormone was only applied in treatment number four. Again, stem root number one was used. To prevent contamination, it is always important to wash your hands prior to making stem cuttings. The material needed for this experiment was a razor blade, some stem root number one, a cutting board covered with paper towel, and some styrofoam flats. A hydroponic unit was also needed. Again, to prevent contamination, it is important to properly clean the razor blade. Two nodes were included in each stem cutting. The cut was made just below the lower node with the help of the razor blade. When needed, the base of the cutting was then directly dipped in stem root number one. It is important to mention that stem cuttings should always be planted with respect to polarity. Moreover, the lower nodes should always be fully covered with the rooting medium, otherwise the roots won't grow properly. Then, cuttings from treatment 1 and 2 were put under the misframe. The results. Regarding treatment number one, eight cuttings rooted. The average root length is 20 centimeters. Then, regarding treatment number two, nine cuttings rooted with an average root length of 25 centimeters. Unlike treatment number one, treatment number two displayed a tight network of roots which leads us to think that cuttings from treatment number two rooted better. As for treatment number three, only six cuttings rooted, with an average root length of 10 cm. Finally, regarding treatment number four, seven cuttings rooted, with an average root length of 10 cm. It is important to mention that the average number of roots was largely inferior in cuttings of treatment 3 and 4 compared with cuttings of treatments 1 and 2. It was also observed that treatments that used stem root number 1 resulted in a higher number of rooted cuttings.
Knowing all this, it is safe to assume that the best treatment was treatment number two. Indeed, the interaction between the application of rooting hormone and a soil-based rooting medium resulted in the highest number of rooted cuttings with the highest root length.